So just general thoughts on the game? Oh, well, you know, uh, uh, anytime you lose, it hurts. But, you know, there's, there's a lot of positives that we can take uh, from tonight's efforts. Uh, I thought overall as a team, we played much better uh, than we did the week before. Um, just, you know, still making youthful mistakes. And I guess we're, we're going to have to have to live with that um, until we get to, to the point where we start playing like we're not what our ID says. Um, and uh, we did get some guys back tonight that helped us. Um, you know, we just got to learn to be able to play more consistent. And that's uh, really where it came down to. They made plays when they had to, and we didn't. And uh, that's why they're, you know, you can see that, you can see that CSU Pueblo is a veteran team and has been down this road before um, because they, they answered the call when they needed to. And when momentum swung our way there for a little bit, they didn't panic or, or uh, flinch. They came right back, you know, very methodical and much like they're, They've been they've been taught and, and they did a real good job. So, you know, it hurts when we lost, but uh, there's I can see positives in this already that I think we're going to be in good shape. So, I can sense that in this growing process, there's going to be some steps forward in times like like when you're feeling on top of the world, like you did after you took the lead, and then there's going to be some growing pains. And it's not all going to happen in a, in a gradual line. Yeah, that's true. I, you know. Um, Again, as a coach and a competitor, you know, you want to win everything. But you also got to be able to find victories in the, in the things that happened. And I just got through telling the team, you know, we, we, we kind of rose to the occasion when we needed to and step up and make plays, and we took the lead. And, you know, and then we kind of relaxed and took our foot off the gas a little bit. And that, um, uh, that wound up uh, coming back to bite us because they surely did. And they, uh, they, when they had to go and – and make a play or, uh, you know, get themselves back on top, they did. You could see their their age and their experience uh, come to light there where we kind of, uh, I don't know if we ran out of gas, but we just didn't answer the bell uh, when it came calling. So, you know, for the fact that, you know, we came back from a 27 hole and a half and, and, and fought back to take a lead was a good sign to show that, you know, uh, there's a lot of fight in this team, even though we may not always – do it correctly, uh, we're, we're going to continue to fight and, and play hard. So uh, I'm definitely proud of our effort in that in that regard. Number of penalties in the game looks like 20 penalties, 10, 10 apiece. It seemed like more than that to me. Uh, Probably how was. Cut down on the penalties? Well, we, we, you know, I've got to go and look at the film and see where the penalties came from. Um, uh, you had two uh, personal foul penalties right in a row. That really, I knew this. We had too many holding calls, um, and that's something we got to get. We got to get corrected. Um, you know, I told the team we, we we cannot offensively play behind the chains in second and long, third and long. We've got to continue to put ourselves in in the right spots. So, uh, some of that's uh, conditioning and experience, and hopefully, uh, you know, being able to keep our composure, and that's that comes with time and knowing you know where we're at and where we need to get to. So. We'll, um, we'll look at the film and, and see where we made those mistakes and try to get them fixed for next week. But it's certainly ten, even 10 penalties is too many. It's probably not taking into, contact, into account the ones that they declined. So you're right, it probably could have been more than that. You've got an awfully good quarterback in Kyle Yick. Uh, you may have set a school record, I don't know, for attempted passes tonight, uh, 70 passes. Holy smokes. Uh, did we run the ball at all, ever? Uh, but we only ran, we, we passed for over 300 yards, but we only ran for 60. Uh, that's probably why we passed for so many yards. You know, you know again, we're young. I hate to keep beating a dead horse, but, you know, we'd start five freshmen up front on the offensive line. And a lot of times it's easier to just pass protect, you because know, you're in a catch mentality as opposed to a moving forward mentality. And, you know, we seem to be clicking tonight, and I thought the receivers did a fairly decent job. And, uh, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. You, so, you uh, kind of favor the pass, too, right? Uh, we, we do, by nature. You know, we'll, we'll run and pick our spots when we have to. But, uh, again, uh, the way they played defensively, I thought that left them susceptible to a few things in the throw game, and we took advantage of it tonight. So, um, you know, we're, gonna, we're not going to force a square peg into a round hole. And I thought looking at film after one game that they played that they had some, some holes that we could take advantage of and exploit. And, you know, you know, we did it. I thought we did it fairly decent. We probably had, I don't know, eight or nine drop balls out there as well. And that's that's the one thing that 
we really got to go back and work on it and make sure we get fixed because, you know, six or seven of those drops, you never know what happens, you know. One of those passes they caught for a touchdown looked to me like he might have been out of bounds when he caught it. Uh, you know, a judgment call again. It was on the other side of the field. I didn't see it. You know, they, they two, two, two plays they made were great throws and catches, and, you know, uh, uh, we were there and in pretty good coverage, and, you know, that, those things happen. We just got to be mature enough to bounce back from them. It seems to make a big difference when you protect your quarterback. Everything seems to work much more smoothly when he's got time to work. Uh, that's, uh, you know, I haven't been back there before. That's... It's definitely a, a feeling of comfort when you know you know you've got time to be able to get receivers down the field and, and do some things. And we made some adjustments this week in our protections to, to help those young kids up front. And I thought again they battled hard outside of the three holding calls. I thought we we played fairly well. I won't know until we see the film. You know anything about the team you're playing next week? They're in Missouri. <laughs> that, uh, I mean, we'll put this one to bed tomorrow afternoon and we'll get moving on them tomorrow night. So. Let me talk big picture with you. This is your first home game at Northwestern. Your first chance to see an Alba crowd. What are your thoughts? I, you know, I thought it was a great atmosphere. I hope, I hope it only gets better from here. Um, you know, I've heard that uh, there's there seems there's sometimes a tendency that the most attended games are the first one of the year and homecoming. I'm hoping we'll have this kind of crowd, if not better, every week because um, we're only going to get better, and I think the product is only going to get better and. It'll be an exciting show when we come back here in four weeks for homecoming. Uh, we've got some things we're going to be introducing at uh, uh, homecoming for the for the ball game. So I'm hoping to uh, see that uh, the crowd is excited about seeing where, how far we've grown in the four weeks that we're gone. Um, I think it could be a good time for all. Any injuries this game? Um, what did I hear? We've got one that may have a broken hand. He's on the way to the hospital to get X-rays and. Uh, I think we had one with a concussion, so they're going to take a look at him tonight. Check and see. I can't remember who it was, though. I think they were both on defense. You got through this hot, hot, hot part of the summer. It's got to feel good to not have too much more hot weather. Practice. Well, I think they, they personally it doesn't bother me from where I'm from, but uh, I think the kids are happy to see that uh, it's going to start cooling off. So uh, maybe I, maybe they'll think I'll, t- I'll, I'll have mercy on them and won't run them as much, but. Uh, We'll, we'll, certainly, we'll certainly push through.